Hello, and welcome to School Health Presents Talk in Tech with Dr. Ray. This video is going to be focused on the Time Timers hand washing timer. Now, I know that many of you really like using this, especially if you have a portable sink in your classroom or you have a bathroom adjoining your classroom. But I've also had a lot of groups reach out to me and say, you know what, I've had questions from my administrators or my purchasing saying, is this really worth it? It's only for one thing. Can't we do something else? Well, let me go into a couple of alternative uses for it right in this video. First of all, for those of you who don't know, this timer is a 30 second timer. It is visual. It does have some auditory feedback too as you're going in. The great part about it is it's very small. You can see it fits into my hand. It also has a suction cup on the back so it can go up onto a wall, onto a dry erase board, right above a sink. It can actually go wherever you need to have it. Now, for this alternative use, what else can we do with this? This actually makes for a perfect transition timer. And what I mean by that is research has shown us no matter what type of student with whom we're dealing, whether it be neurotypical or exceptional, students need to be able to take some type of a sensory break throughout the context of their learning to make sure that their cognitive processing abilities are operating at their greatest capacity. All too often, we don't do that, especially now as we're starting to get back into the classrooms. We're sitting there saying, oh, we have limited time. We've got to cover all this material. No, we still need to have those transition times, those breaks that come into play. Another reason that we push back against sensory breaks sometimes is we're worried about bringing the students back in. I've seen some teachers do some wonderful things, a sensory break where you play some music for a few minutes, or you, you get up, you move around, which is actually a great break, but for some of our individuals, it may not calm them and have them be able to focus. It may become more like a game and they get overly excited and lose focus instead. This timer actually allows us to have an alternative way of approaching then any type of transition. How does it work? Well, for those of you who've already used it, you know it's very simple. Once you get it to turn it on, you wave your hand in front of the sensor. You see the timer working, counting down, you heard a ding at that point in time. The first ding was to start, the second ding was five seconds in. That's normally when you would actually put soap on your hands. You could have the students doing various activities and I'm gonna describe one to you in just a moment. This time is normally used, this 20 second chunk, for rubbing the soap in, then this last five seconds is for washing the hands. Notice that at each transition point, you heard the dings going on. So how might I suggest you using this? Now, there's a couple of different things you can do. I'm gonna show you my favorite idea for using this as a transition timer. And I'm going to do it where we're going to base things auditorily. In the very beginning, use this as visual cueing and use that center area as the visual cueing of the time ticking down in essence. But eventually you can move away from that. So here's what's going to happen. It's time for a break. Teacher says it's time for a break and they activate. Music begins. I have the students stand up in those first five seconds. Breathe in. Take a deep breath out. Breathe in. Take a deep breath out. Breathe in. Deep breath out. And now sit down. So what we've just done is we've taken a sensory break where we had the students stand up, again, getting that body movement going, but we took three deep breaths and they were guided breaths. You still had the music going on in the background but it wasn't music necessarily that would be distracting. You know, modern music, things that the, the students might like, something, you know, that is on the radio or on their iPod or MP4 player, whatever they're listening to today. So it does not distract in that way. And what you've got is a 30 second break time that can actually come in. So you can be using this in between every single activity you use throughout the context of the day along with using it for when students need to use it to wash their hands. So the time timer, hand washing timer, 
is a great timer not just for washing hands, but also for marking transition time. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me at rheipp at schoolhealth.com. And I look forward to seeing you somewhere down the road.